Hello and welcome to our video today, the complete guide for creating church bulletins. My name is Abby and I'm on the marketing team here at Vanco and I am so excited to be walking you through our best practices and ideas as your church looks to create your own church bulletin. Now, as we dive in today, we're going to be walking through a number of ideas and best practices for your church to keep in mind as you are creating your own church bulletin. I'm going to cover most of these at a very high level, but at the end of our video today, I'm going to share with you a great resource we created here at Vanco that you can download if you'd like more information on any of these tips. And that also includes a number of great real life examples that your church can view if you're looking for inspiration on how to improve or start to modify your own church bulletins. But let's get started with these best practices and ideas your church can implement as you are looking to create or improve your church bulletin. And the first one is my favorite, and that is keep it simple. When you are thinking about your church bulletin, you want to make it concise and simple and make sure that you're making the most important information that you want to portray front and center within that data. Additionally, don't worry about color. Your church bulletins don't need to have a huge plethora of color within it or a large variety in terms of palette. If you are just starting out, feel free to keep that simple, either just in black and white or starting to add in a few colors from there. Additionally, you want to make sure that you are keeping your message simpler. It can be easy to try to put everything in your church bulletin, but keeping that message simple will make sure that your members or any guests who are joining you for the first time take away what you consider most important within that bulletin. Additionally, make sure you are designing a weekly message. If you decide to start creating a church bulletin, Determine a frequency that works best for you and continue forward with that. Most churches choose weekly. You may decide you want to do monthly. Whatever that is, determine your cadence and stick with it. And then additionally, make sure you are thinking about giving a taste of what, to what is to come. Now, often we see our church bulletins are printed on a Sunday for your members to pick up and review prior to service. If that is the case with yours, make sure you are giving some headlines or some teasers as to what they can expect during service on Sunday or key things that they should be keeping an eye out for. Moving along to a few additional best practices and ideas, we have thanks Thanksgiving and gratitude. Now, Thanksgiving is a phenomenal holiday for your church to take an opportunity to step back and give thanks. But we also encourage you to be thinking about how you can incorporate messages of gratitude throughout your church bulletins throughout the year. Whether that is taking an opportunity once a quarter to reflect back on a project or a mission you've accomplished and the impact that that had within your community, or just taking a moment to thank your members for all the great work that they're doing. Make sure you're keeping gratitude top of mind. Additionally, think about going digital, especially if your church offers live services. Those members who are joining you virtually will enjoy the opportunity to still have a church bulletin that they can review prior to service and to get an update on what is going on within the church, even if they're not able to physically attend. Getting or continuing along our holiday theme, make sure you are going all out for Christmas. Now we did talk earlier about keeping it simple and that you don't need a lot of colors or to be fancy, but if there is a time that you do wanna go all out, make sure it is the Christmas season. This is a key time when your church is most likely 
very active with events and different um, gatherings going on along with a plethora of services. So make sure you're using your church bulletin as a way to keep your members and guests informed of all the great activities that you have going on so they can be as involved as they would like to be. Additionally, make sure you are thinking about bringing your church online. Now, this doesn't just mean that you are doing virtual service or have a digital bulletin, but think about your social media presence. If your church has not taken a step into this quite yet, I do highly encourage you to view our Venko asset on how to build a social media strategy for your church. But take some time to talk to your members and ask what social media platforms they're on and that they frequent most often. Think about how your church can slowly start to build your presence on some of those platforms. Again, we highly encourage you to use some of these same best practices as you look at social media, including picking a frequency and sticking with it. If you think to start you want to try to post bi-weekly, make sure you're putting that on the calendar and putting a team together that can help you to accomplish that. And then our last tip on this page is keep new concepts simple. If you are trying something new within your bulletin, make sure it is simple and easy for your church to replicate on whatever frequency you determine it to be a good fit to include within your church. Few more best practices that we're gonna cover here. And this top one is so simple yet so impactful. Make sure you are adding helpful contact information to each of your bulletins. Many church members take your bulletin home and they may end up sharing that with a friend who has not been to your church before. If that's the case and they find an activity or a mission that they're interested in learning more about, you want to make sure that it's simple and easy for them to have an opportunity where they can interact with your church and have an opportunity to contact you and get involved in the way that they want to. Additionally, make sure your bulletins have a give and take within them. Oftentimes we talk about the giving aspect of that where you are asking for your members to give and support your cause, but Make sure that you are taking an opportunity within your bulletins to remind your members of all the great ways that they can get support from your church or different ways that you're helping out in the community, providing ways that you can provide some services back to your members makes those relationships feel like a give and take. Additionally, don't be afraid to reuse graphics from your services. Again, this helps provide continuity as well as making things simpler for you as the church and make donating easy. While you may not want to have a large spread on donations, every time you are printing your bulletin, make sure that in addition to your contact information, knowing the different ways that a member or a guest could give are visible. So if they have the desire to express their generosity, they know exactly how they're able to make that happen. And additionally, this is gonna help you with keeping up fundraising motivation. If your members know how they can motivate or using your bulletin as an opportunity to provide a status update as to maybe how far you, or how close you are to your goal or the impact that you had with a previous fundraiser, all of those can re-energize your members and get them excited about continuing to um, contribute to the causes that are most important and top of mind for you. So rounding out our list of best practices and ideas here, we have, once again, going back to those holidays, don't be afraid to pull out all the stops for Easter. Christmas and Easter are the times of year when we see the most members or guests joining you in service, so make sure your bulletin is telling your story as well as providing a variety of ways that members and guests can continue to stay engaged within your church. Additionally, make sure you're announcing upcoming events. Your church bulletin is a great opportunity for you to be showcasing your calendar 
and all the different events and groups that your church actively supports and hosts. So use this as a way to share all the great things you have upcoming. Additionally, your church bulletin can be a great place to welcome new members. If you are sharing those new members out, this gives them an opportunity to not only be in the spotlight for a few minutes, but also to, to allow your other members to welcome them and reach out to be a new friendly face or invite them to join an activity that may be going on in your church. And building off of that, we've seen this in a couple of bulletin examples, but put your church members in the spotlight. If you have a specific church member who maybe went above and beyond or who you'd like to recognize for their involvement, either within a group or an event that you had, this gives your younger members something that they can aspire to and your kids something that they can look up to and also provides that drive of different individuals wanting the opportunity to nominate a fellow friend or member to share out the great work that you do. Now this next one is going to feel like an oxymoron because we have already talked about a number of great ideas and best practices, but do try to keep your church bulletin relatively small. As you're looking at some of these new ideas that we have put forth, think about how you can rotate through those, trying one new idea every couple weeks to again help make your newsletter small, simple, and concise so your members are taking away the information that's most important to them. So you may be thinking, well, Abby, if we're trying to keep things relatively small and concise, but we have so much great information, events, and news to share, what is the best way to do that? Well, I encourage you to think about creating a church bulletin board on your church bulletin board. Members and other individuals within your community can share updates, whether it's events that they may be hosting outside the church, different uh, events or missions that you're putting on, or also to new ways for your members to gather together. That church bulletin board can um, work as a central place that members know to walk by and view all the different opportunities that are coming from your members of the church themselves. And then lastly, don't be afraid to include quotes within your church bulletin, whether that comes from the Sermon on Sunday, quotes of people that you're looking up to, weaving in those different medias are going to help to drive that engagement and make your church bulletin something that people look forward to reading and sharing with others. So we have covered a number of best practices and ideas as it relates to creating your church bulletin. For our full complete guide to creating church bulletins, more details on the best practices that we discussed and examples from churches that we work with on how they put their church bulletins together, I encourage you to download our guide, the complete guide for creating church bulletins today. I can't wait to hear your feedback on our guide and to see how you incorporate our tips and best practices into your church bulletin in the coming weeks. Thanks everyone.